Hello everyone, this is Blood Queen Tarot, and I am here to do an after dark reading. This after dark reading is for the karmic. So I'm doing it for the karmic. Um, see what's going on with the karmic for after dark August tonight. Um, keep in mind, um, collective, that um, this the karmic may or may not be your karmic, and as well, the karmic could be a male or a female. So um, as well, keep in mind that my after dark reading hours consist of the hours of 7 p.m. to 5 a.m. the next day. So today is Monday, May the 16th. So this reading, I give it towards 7 p.m. to 5 a.m. the next day. So it's after dark hours tonight for Monday. Um, so collective, please keep in mind that this reading may or may not resonate with you. Some parts of the reading might resonate, other parts of the reading might not. As well, keep in mind that time is fluid, so this reading can manifest after dark hours tonight. It can manifest later on down the line of time, or this present after dark reading could be past energy for you. If this present after dark reading is past energy for you, then there might be answers or closure for you in this present after dark reading that pertains to your past situation or circumstance. So, I don't have my candles lit, but I might have to pause the video and go get my lighter. Um... I was being lazy. I just didn't feel like going to get my lighter. But um, I'm going to go get it because I have to pause the, the, the uh, video for a totally different reason anyway. So while I'm up, I'm going to just go get my lighter. So I just want to say before I pause the video so I won't forget, I did get messages uh, pertaining to the karmic. Um, and it was more or less uh, energy instead of like a, like a person. But I heard this is not necessarily a person, but it's just karmic energy for after dark hours tonight. So the karmic energies that I picked up on was um, entitlement, ownership, possessiveness. Um, there might even be a physical death. Um, this physical death could be the karmic or um, the karmic's victim. Because of possessiveness, ownership, possessiveness. Because of those things, so there might be a physical death um, because of the karmic energy. So these karmics could be very possessive. Um, the karmic want to, I also heard entitled, entitlement. Um, these karmics could also be very codependent on someone. The karmic wants something or someone that does not belong to them. Um, I, I kept hearing entitlement. So these karmics are very entitled. That's the karmic energy. Um, entitlement, entitlement, possessiveness, um, ownership. These karmics, like, oh, that's just the karmic energy. And, um, so those were the messages that I got during the pre-shuffle. So I'm going to see what actually comes out, um, in the cards. We're going to see what's going on with the karmics after dark hours tonight. And collective again. The karmic may or may not be your karmic, and the karmic could be a male or a female. But I'm going to also show you guys what's at the bottom of the decks as well. So, I got, we have bad reputation right here. Then we have behind the scenes with this deck. There is a lot going on behind the scenes. Things are happening that you can't see. Then we have verbal abuse at the bottom of the issues deck. So, constantly cusses you out. So, collective... It could be a karmic in your energy that constantly cusses you out or something like that. Some type of verbal abuse. And then we have, um, you have a sensitive antenna. This is um, the stars deck. It says you have a sensitive antenna. Sensitive people collect the emotions of others. So something like that going on. And then we have new life. So, collective, for some of y'all, it might be the karmic that might pass away. And collective, it's going to be like a new life for you. So, collective, um, yeah, it could be the karmic that might pass away. And collective, this karmic, mm, it's going to be a new life for you. Because this karmic is uh, out your life, like, forever. And then we got the Ten of Swords right here. Ten of Swords, Ten of Wind. What other deck am I using? We have, I fear that you will reject me at the bottom of the shadows deck. The angel number deck, we have number 22, which is a master number. I am aligned. You are in possession of incredible creative powers, and it is assured that you can't achieve anything you wish. So, collective, if you, if you consider yourself a divine feminine or divine masculine, this could be your angel number. 
even though this reader is not for you, this could be for you after the hours tonight. You are aligned. And then at the bottom of this deck, we have number 14, the writer. The writer is a sure sign of good news. Yeah. So, collective, you might get some good news. Uh, yeah. Some type of good news. Um, some this karmic, uh, the karmic, the karmic energies or this karmic person collective was like a thorn in your side. Um, this karmic brought hell and high water to your life and collective for some of y'all, this karmic going to pass away after the hours tonight and, um, collective that's good news for you. It's actually good news because this karmic brought, brought you hell and high water in your life. Yeah. So. Let me pause the video so I can go get my lighter and do what I got to do real quick. All right, so I paused the video. So, collective, while I was, you know, getting my lighter, I heard that, collective, for some of y'all, y'all getting delivered from this karmic. And it might be through a physical death. So, you're being delivered from this karmic. Um, this karmic, whatever this karmic was doing to you, some type of havoc or injustice this karmic caused in your life. You're being delivered from this karmic. And I also heard collective, you're being delivered from karmic energy. So, um, what I'm hearing now is, um, collective, say like for an example, especially if you're divine feminine or divine masculine, don't have to be. Say like collective, you through your lifetime, you the you you had to deal with the same issue but with different people. That's karmic energy, instead of a specific karmic person. That's karmic energy. So collective, say like for an example, in all your relationships, your spouse or your lover is abusive. That's not necessarily a karmic person. That's just a karmic energy. That has been assigned over your life for whatever reason. So that's what I mean by you're being delivered from karmic energy. If it's not necessarily a karmic person, you're being delivered from karmic energy that like could have been following you along your life so far. You're being delivered from karmic energy. Because on the pre-shuffle, I was picking up on the energy. I'm like, mm-hmm, yep, okay, yep, mm-hmm. And then I heard not a, not necessarily a karmic person, but this is karmic energy. And I heard it just like that. So, collective, you're being delivered from some type of karmic energy. Whatever you kept encountering in life, uh, uh, abusive, an abusive, uh, an abusive lover, or um, something like that, you're being delivered from something. So. Let me go ahead and jump in. So, I'm going to start off by giving the karmic an angel number. Oh, I had to catch my breath. All right. What's the karmic's angel number for after our hours tonight? Okay. It came out number 12. Okay. And it's coming out sideways. And it's two. So, I'm putting it back in the deck. There we go. That Gemini energy. I think Mercury retrograde is still in um, Gemini. The sign of Gemini. So. All right. So, um. What's the karmic angel number for after that August tonight? What is the karmic angel number? Okay. All right. So we have number 28. I am a leader. So I am a leader. So this karmic could be a ring leader concerning something that's uh, karmic-like. So this karmic could be a ring leader, the head of like a, a gang, some type of gang stalking or... This karmic is the, the this like a troublemaker, but the karmic has followers or something like that. This karmic is a leader, but it could be in a very negative way. But let me read it anyway. It says, in, in an effort to accomplish great things, you recognize the value of working with others. You make a capable and compassionate leader who can bring people together and drive a team towards achievement. So this karmic could be coming together with a group of people against somebody that they should not be coming up against. So the karmic could be forming some type of team or 
aliases or whatever like that against the divine feminine or divine masculine or against someone that's innocent and to the karmic this is a great thing it's it's great to the karmic um so the karmic could be wrong could the karmic is like wrongfully somebody's enemy or wrongfully somebody's foe so number 28 All right, so it just started pouring down raining, pouring. All right, so um, what's the karmic's um message from the stars for after dark hours tonight? Message from the stars for the karmic. What's the karmic's message from the stars? So, mm. All right. So, what's the karmic's message from the stars? Okay, so the stars want the karmic to know. The karmic's message from the stars is, remember love is the key. Love what you have in your life right now. So this karmic could also be ungrateful. Like I said, I heard entitlement. I heard possessiveness, entitlement, ownership. The karmic wants someone or something that do not belong to them. So the stars want the karmic to know, remember, love is the key. Love what you have in your life right now. That's what the stars want to tell the karmic. So this karmic could be a bit ungrateful. This karmic is ungrateful and um, entitled. Yep. And um, I don't think it's it's I don't think it's safe for the karmic after their hours tonight. This karmic should tread lightly. I don't think it's safe for this karmic after their hours tonight. This karmic should tread lightly after their hours tonight. Yeah, it could be, yeah. This karmic might have to deal with final judgment, which could be like a physical death. So this karmic should be careful. All right, so I'm going to put um, three cards for the karmic. I'm going to see what the karmic's lover want to say to the karmic for after their hours tonight. We're going to see what's going on with the karmic in love and romance. So, what do the karmic's lover want to say to the karmic for after dark hours tonight? What do the karmic's lover want to say? Okay. I hope I will see you again sometime. All right. So, I'm doing this after dark reading a little bit earlier than I, um, than I normally would. So, my kids are still, like, woke. They up. So... Um, y'all might hear them, even though I prefer for y'all, you know, not to hear them and for my after dark readings, but I'm doing the reading like earlier. So they still up. Um, so anyway, the karmic's lover want to say to the karmic that I hope I will see you again sometime. So the karmic's lover want to see the karmic again sometime. And the karmic's lover is saying, I hope you're happy. One more for the karmic's lover. So the karmic's lover could have um, left the karmic. I just heard that the karmic told their lover to leave. So it's like the karmic lover was like, okay, if you want me to go, I'll leave. But I hope that this makes you happy. I hope you're happy. Um, so the karmic forced their lover to leave. One more for the karmic's lover. What do the karmic's lover want to say to the karmic? You're so easy to see through. All right. So that's why the karmic forced their lover to leave. Because the karmic's lover could see, the, could see straight through to the karmic. The karmic's lover is saying you're so easy to see through. So the karmic's lover could have like caught the, love, the karmic in a lie. But the karmic's lover is very calm. So the karmic's lover, after dark, I was tonight or in the recent past, maybe earlier today. The karmic's lover caught them in a lie or something like that. And, um, okay, yeah. So the karmic's lover is being sarcastic. So the karmic is getting exposed. And the karmic's lover is like, what's wrong, karmic? What's wrong? I thought you said I was the only one. I thought you said you had a job. I thought you said this. I thought you said that. And the karmic's like, get out. Get out my face. Get out of here. Get out. 
And the karmic lover is saying, I hope I will see you again sometime. And then the karmic lover is saying, I hope you're happy. Yeah, so the karmic lover caught this karmic. The karmic was exposed. And the karmic lover is wanna say you're so easy to see through. Yeah. So the karmic lover caught this karmic in a in a lie or something. Yeah, and then it say, I don't trust you. Yeah, so the karmic lover is telling the karmic, I don't trust you. Yeah, so the karmic is making their lover leave. Because the karmic lover is like very calmly confronting the karmic. So the karmic lover is saying, karmic, I thought you said I was the only one. And look what I found. Karmic, you told me you be going to work. But I saw you over here and you supposed to be at work. But I'm picking up the energy. The karmic lover is calm and the karmic mad because they got caught. So the karmic like, get away from me. Leave me alone. Get out of here. Get out or something like that. That karmic doing. Yeah, this karmic caught. So that's what's going on with the karmic and um, love and romance. <laughs> After that, I was tonight, whether the karmic a male or a female, this karmic is getting exposed and confronted. But this person, the karmic's lover, is very calm about it. Very calm. And the karmic don't like that. Yeah. So, what I'm going to next. Okay, let me just, okay. So, what's going on with the karmic after dark hours tonight? What's going on with the karmic? What's the karmic's overall energy for after dark hours tonight? Ooh. All right. All right, we have milk and honey. So this is good energy, but I don't think it belongs to the karmic. The karmic probably wants somebody else milk and honey. Yup. So we got milk and honey, and then we have imagine. I don't know if y'all can see that. On my end, it's like a little blurry, but we have imagine. So the karmic could be um wanting something that belongs to somebody else. So, milk and honey. Let me read that. Number 51. This this is the first time this card came out since I had this deck. This milk and honey. So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to still read what the books say. But I think this is somebody else's energy and a karmic wanted. Or the karmic is imagining milk and honey. The karmic could be imagining their own milk and honey. Or the karmic wants somebody else milk and honey. So, 51... All right, let's see what's going on with this karmic after dark hours tonight. Dang, is that the last one? Yeah, I think it is. Okay. All right, so it say, the taste of prosperity, opportunities born of, authentic, of authenticity, nurturing abundance, trusting that your needs will be met. Yeah. So the karmic want the, want the taste of prosperity. The karmic want prosperity. The karmic is imagining. I think the karmic is trying to imagine being legit. Opportunities born of authenticity. So the karmic is imagining this. So the karmic could be saying to themselves, "What if I wonder what my life would be like if I was an honest person, or if I was if I was to do things right, or if I get a job?" It's like the karmic is imagining. Taste what the what 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 do prosperity feel like? What do it feel like to have opportunities born of authenticity? Yeah. Trusting that your needs will be met. Yeah, milk and honey. So this karmic, this is somebody else's that the karmic want? Or the karmic is imagining a life without, um, I guess, being a criminal? Or without being a karmic. The karmic could be imagining if their life was different or if they had made better choices. Because it say imagine. So that milk and honey could be something that the karmic is imagining. Or the karmic is like daydreaming about somebody else's milk and honey. So we going to see. What I do? Oh, here we go. Let's see what's going on with this milk and honey. All right. So... So the SARS could be telling a karmic, if you want milk and honey, 
You have to learn how to love. Love is the key. That's how you get milk and honey. You have to love. You have to love people. You have to love yourself. Love, and then the stars are saying, the karmics, if you want milk and honey, you have to learn about love. You have to learn what love is. You have to love other people, and you have to love yourself. And then the stars are telling the karmic, you have to also be grateful. Love what you have in your life right now. So the stars are telling a karmic, Appreciate what you have right now, and you need to learn what love is. Love yourself, the love of other people. But as for right now, karmic, you need to appreciate what you have right now. So I'm hearing the first thing that the first thing first for the karmic. This karmic needs to learn what what um love is. Yeah. Yep. All right. What's going on with the karmic with this milk and honey? What's going on with this karmic with this milk and honey? Okay, so number 47, the bride. All right, so it says, the bride ensures for a single person the fulfillment of their highest aims when near. Okay. So this is the karmic's highest aims. The karmic want this. This is what the karmic wants. This is a desire. So the karmic could be daydreaming or something or having a dream or something. So this is the karmic's uh, highest aims. The karmic wants milk and honey. Let me read it again. This is what the karmic wants. So that's letting me know in the present the karmic is... um. The karmic's life is full of crime. The karmic's life is like a lie. The karmic is fake. The karmic want to know what it's like to, to taste prosperity. The karmic want to know what it's like to have opportunities born of authenticity. The karmic want to know what it's like to nurture abundance. The karmic want to know what it's like to trust that their needs will be met. So this karmic don't know how to trust. And it could be in spirit or the most high. This karmic doesn't have faith. This karmic doesn't know about trust, what trust is. This karmic doesn't know about the laws of attraction and things like that. So these are things that the karmic is thinking about. The um, What the karmic want to know. How it is to live a life like that. To be a divine feminine or divine masculine. Yeah, so I just heard the karmic want to know, how do people do that? How do people do that? How do people live a, live a normal life? And um, yeah, the karmic want to know, how do people do that? Because this milk and honey is the karmic's highest aims. Yeah, so it's like the karmic want to do right, but the karmic don't know how to do right. The karmic don't know how to. <clears throat> Damn. So this karmic don't have no love in their life. This karmic don't have faith or trust in the universe or the most high. This karmic is basically a karmic. They're lost. This karmic is lost. That's what this is. This karmic is like a lost soul. Yeah, they're lost. And um, to be authentic and to live in normal society is like the... A, a dream for the karmic to just be normal. So this karmic got a little bit of sense because they have like the desire to want to do what's right. They, this karmic got a little bit of sense. Yeah. So something like that going on with this karmic, but let's see. All right. So we have the Knight of Wands that come out. So the karmic could be a fire sign or dealing with a fire sign or got fire in a chart. Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. All right. So um, this karmic could be married. It don't have to be. This karmic could be a female. She could be married. She don't have to be a female. But I'm picking up this karmic could be married because we got the Knight of Wands. And we got the Queen of Swords. So this karmic might abruptly... Make a bold change to break up with a lover or divorce a lover. And I think the karmic, the karmic could be, the karmic is upset because the karmic got exposed. 
That's what's going on. If it's if this is about love, the karmic make a made a bold change and a bold move to become somebody's ex. So the karmic made a a lover leave, or the karmic is initiating a breakup because they got caught. This karmic do not like to be confronted. That's what I just heard. This karmic don't like being confronted. So I just did the love reading, and the karmic's lover confronted this karmic. So the karmic like, oh, okay, you want to confront me? Then you my ex. You will become my ex. Yeah, queen of swords. The karmic could also be a player. The knight of wands. And then the karmic sitting there wondering why they're not authentic. Why their life is in shambles. Because they don't like to be confronted. This karmic don't like to do shadow work. So this is like the karmic. If their lovers confront them, the karmic will break up with their lover. If the karmic's friends confront them, the karmic will stop being friends with somebody that confront them. About their shadow side, their karmic energy. The karmic will break ties with anybody who confront them. Yeah. So this karmic doesn't like correction. So I know this karmic be in and out of jail. Or this karmic is like a, a criminal or something. This karmic do not like to be corrected at all. In no shape, form, or fashion. Whether they wrong or right. This karmic like, uh-uh. You don't confront me. So this karmic, I just heard this karmic is an asshole. <laughs> yeah, then we got the Knight of Cups. Um, I just heard that's a no-no. You don't confront this karmic. That's a no-no to that karmic. Yeah, you don't confront that karmic about their wrongdoing. That's a no-no. You don't do that. This karmic will be like this. Gone. You say something to that karmic. Then anyway, the Knight of Cups. So somebody could be a water sign. Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. This karmic could be a water sign or dealing with a water sign. Yeah. This karmic is leaving a lover. And it's like... <laughs> Whoever the Knight of Cups is, this person kind of like really don't care that the karmic got caught. But it's like this person like, karmic, you didn't have to lie about that. The Knight of Cups, they like, you didn't have to lie about that karmic. Like, I still be your friend. We don't have to break up. But the karmic like, no. Nah. Mm -mm. This karmic like, mm -mm. no, this karmic leaving the Knight of Cups. Yeah, because the Knight of Cups, I think, confronted this karmic. And the karmic leaving. Or the karmic is going, like, to another lover to make another lover an offer or something like that. Yeah, we got the Five of Cups. Five of Glasses. So somebody could definitely be a water sign. The karmic could be a water sign or the karmic dealing with a water sign. A Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. So, somebody has emotional regrets and losses. So, the karmic could have offended someone. The karmic disappointed somebody after dark hours tonight. And this person is just confronting the karmic. And the karmic don't want to talk about it. The karmic do not like being confronted. I heard that's a no-no. You do not confront this karmic. Um, so, it's like the karmic offended somebody. This person is disappointed. And this person is like, hey, karmic, you know... I found this out about you. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. This person could have said, let's go out for drinks. Let's talk about it. I found out you lied to me. Let's talk about it. We can work through this. Let's talk about it. And the comment was like, no. Yeah. So, um, the comment could have got confronted by somebody from their past. Or the comment got confronted about something or someone from their past. This all together is six cups. Oh no, this is, wait, this is the four cups. So all together is five cups. Okay. Yeah, somebody has emotional regrets and losses. The karmic could also have emotional regrets and losses too. Yeah, so the karmic is experiencing disappointment after their hours tonight. The karmic could have got rejected. The karmic could have rejected a lover. Um, or a lover rejected this karmic. But I think the karmic is offended because somebody um, somebody confronted this karmic. So the karmic takes offense to that. 
So the karmic feels rejected because somebody confronted the karmic. And it's not, it's like the karmic is immature. This person that confronted the karmic is just a mature person. This person told the karmic, I found out you lied to me. Let's talk about it. Explain yourself. And it's like the karmic, like, no, I'm leaving. The karmic is offended that someone is handling something like in a, in a, in in an adult manner. So it's like the karmic on top of them being an asshole. It's like this karmic don't know how to respond to maturity. This karmic don't know how to respond to maturity. Yeah. Yeah, the karmic upset. Because the Knight of Cups was being nice to them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this karmic an asshole. <laughs> Clarify the Knight of Cups. This karmic is an asshole. Because I heard that's not what the karmic is there for. That's what I just heard. That's not why the karmic is there. So it's like the karmic like, don't nobody got time for this. You want to be fair. Don't nobody got time for that. Let me get out of here. It's like this karmic could have been cheating on somebody. And this person found out the karmic was cheating on them. And this person approached the karmic very calm and mature like. That offended the karmic. Because the karmic probably wanted this person. The karmic probably wanted a fight. This karmic like, I ain't got time for this. I don't got time for the Knight of Cups being fair. <laughs> yeah, because I heard that's not what the karmic is there for. Yeah. So I don't know if this karmic a demon. That's kind of like what this looking like too. <laughs> this karmic could be an entity. And it's like that's not what that demon was there for. Like so somebody responded to a person. Or somebody responded to like an entity in like the wrong way. So this, this person or this entity had to leave. Like it say resist the devil and he will flee. Yeah that karmic. This demon was like, what? Let me get out of here. That's not why I'm here for. I'm not here for that. Yeah, somebody was being the Knight of Cups. Very generous. The Knight of Cups is very generous. Very kind-hearted. Soft-hearted. Yeah. So, Collective, this could even be you. Like, you could have had, like, an entity attachment or something. And you made a decision to be kind-hearted or generous to somebody. And that entity left you. That entity left you because that's not what that entity attached itself to you for. This entity, this entity did not want you to be the Knight of Cups. <laughs> so that entity was like, let me get out of here. That is not why I possess this person or why I follow this person. <clears throat> so this, like I said, if this karmic is a person, this karmic is an asshole. This karmic could be compared to a demon. That's how, like, filthy this karmic is. This karmic is, like, filthy. It's like somebody was being nice to the karmic, and somebody in the karmic was like, I'm out. That's not what I'm here for. I'm here to fight. I'm here to destroy you. I'm here to fight. And you being nice to me? I'm leaving. Clarify the Knight of Cups. Yeah, the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, so um, somebody was being a player. This karmic was being a player. The Two of Pentacles is also one that also um, somebody juggling in love. The Two of Pentacles. Yeah, so this karmic is leaving behind one lover and going to another lover. Yeah. Yep. So I just heard on to the next. The karmic just going on to the next. Yeah, the karmic juggling in love. And the, one of the karmic's lover is confronting the karmic after the hours tonight. And the karmic is just going to leave this lover and go to their other lover. Yeah. I also just heard, too, this karmic likes to leave people confused. So, literally, this is the type of energy. Say, like, the karmic was cheating on their lover. And the lover say, karmic, I found this in your purse. Or I found this... Um, 
in your car. Who phone number is this? And it's like the karmic just get up and leave. The karmic don't say nothing. The karmic just get up and leave. This karmic is an asshole. Yeah, because it's karmic juggling. Yeah, it's like this karmic like to go around and like cause heartbreak or something. And they'd be like, I'll see you later. <laughs> This karmic likes to go around causing heartbreak and be like, I'll see you later. Mm-hmm. So this karmic don't give explanation. This karmic don't talk. Because they, 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 when this karmic is around people, their victim, when they execute their plan and the person confronts them, they leave. The karmic say, I'll see you later. Because that's what the karmic was there for. To cause you heartbreak, to hurt your feelings, to cause you confusion. So, yeah. The karmic like, I'll see you later. Yeah, I cheated on you. I'm making you feel like I don't... I'm making somebody feel as though they're not wanted. So, it's time for me to go. My job here is done. Next. What's going on with the Knight of Cups? Yeah, we got the two of swords. Yeah. The karmic just going to up and leave somebody. And this person going to be confused. So, the karmic could be an air sign or dealing with an air sign. Somebody, the knight of cups is confused. Because I'm I'm picking up the karmic just going to up and leave. Somebody's going to be asking the karmic a question. And the karmic not going to answer them. The karmic just going to get up and leave. So, somebody is like, um, don't have all the information. The knight of cups don't have all the information. Yeah, the, the Knight of Cups is confused. The Karmic could have blocked the Knight of Cups. Yeah. The Karmic likes to leave people baffled. Yeah, this Knight of Cups don't know what's going on. The, the Knight of Cups is two of swords. <clears throat> yeah. What's going on with the four cups? Yep. We got the ten of glasses coming out in reverse. Yeah. Yep. So, like I said, and the stars like said, the karma don't got no love for nobody. The karma don't got no love for nobody. So, um, this could also be letting me know the karmic's family could have disowned the karmic because the karmic is ten of cups in, a, in reverse. The karmic don't got no love for nobody. Yeah. The karmic is not a happy person and the karmic likes to make other people unhappy as well. So actually, it could be a water sign. The karmic could be a fire sign. And the karmic is um like playing... I'm hearing word magic or... Okay, I just heard word magic. The word about word magic is when you don't talk, that's word magic. That's what I just heard. When you don't talk, that's word magic. So that's what the karmic is doing. Somebody's asking the karmic a question and the karmic is not responding. I heard that's word magic. That's what I just heard. So it could be a water sign. That the karmic left baffled. So the karmic could have made somebody feel rejected. The karmic dirtied somebody up. Because the karmic a dirty person. And this person like why you do that? Why did you lie to me? And the karmic not responding to this person. Yeah. So this person was like okay karmic. Let's talk about it. What's wrong? Why did you do that to me? And the karmic like I'll see you later. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, the karmic might also reject the lover because the karmic missed their other victim. So the karmic is going back to their previous victim or the karmic got a new victim, a new victim. So the karmic is leaving the Knight of Cups because the Ten of Cups in reverse could be somebody that missed somebody. So the karmic might leave one lover and go to the next because the karmic missed somebody. So somebody is in the karmic's energy is feeling rejected because the karmic just decided I miss my ex, so I'm going back to my ex. And when I get tired of my ex, Knight of Cups, I come back to holler at you. But I'm out. Yeah, this karmic an asshole. And then this karmic sitting up there wondering why they don't got no milk and honey. Then they sitting up there wondering why 
They don't have milk and honey. Why they live in poverty, they don't have no prosperity. They don't have no faith. They don't have no love in their life. Because this is how they act. This karma act like a demon. Yeah. The karma is a player. <coughs> mm hmm Yep. So, and then we got reputation right here. Bad reputation. Yep. So, um, all right. So this person that the karmic, um, is, uh, rejecting, making a, the karmic is making somebody feel rejected after the hours tonight. What's this person's issue with the karmic? What is this person, what's the Knight of Cups issue with the karmic? The karmic might also, um, ghost a lover as well. So the karmic might ghost a lover. Yeah. A mama's boy. A mama's boy? So the karmic could be a man. And the karmic has one of their lovers feeling rejected. But this person's issue with the karmic is that the karmic is a mama's boy. Spoil you in close connection to mama. Still acts like a kid. Used to things being handed over to them. Expects you to play mom. And I think this is true. This is true. Whoever this person is that the karmic is offending after our hours tonight. This person issue with the karmic is that the karmic is a mama's boy. And it's true. So it's like the only person on this planet that still got love for this karmic is his mother. Because everybody else on uh -uh, this karmic got a bad reputation. So everybody else already know this karmic ain't no good. And this karmic almost close to a literally a demon. Ain't nobody fooling with that karmic. Um, and then this karmic wonder why they why their life is the way it is. Why they don't have any blessings and stuff like that. So, like I said, this person, somebody's finding out the hard way about who this karmic is after their hours tonight. Um, and this person could be confronting the karmic about being a mama's boy. And I said, nobody confronts this karmic. So somebody could have tried to confront this karmic about being a mama's boy. And the karmic was like, I'm out. Yeah. Yep. What's the karmic's issue with this person after their hours tonight? What's the karmic's issue with the Knight of Cups? Or this person that tried to confront the karmic? What's the karmic's issue with this person after their hours tonight? What's the karmic's issue with this person? Toxic. Yeah. See what I'm saying? Yeah. The karmic feel as though anybody that confront them is toxic. Yeah. This karmic is such a karmic that anybody that confronts the karmic about their about them being toxic, the karmic thinks you're toxic. So the karmic thinks that this person is unhealthy, this person has bad love, and this person is draining the karmic's energy. Yeah. So basically, if you try to clean the karmic up, make the karmic a better person, they'll feel as though you're draining them. You're an energy vampire because you're trying to clean the karmic up. So I'm picking up the scenario. Say like you got a baby, a newborn baby, and the baby do a number two in the pamper. This is like the karmic don't like for people to wipe, to like clean them up. You got shit all over you and you don't want to take a bath. You don't want to clean up. This is like a baby that have a temper tantrum when somebody trying to clean their diaper after they did a number two. This is the, the energy of this karmic. This is the type of, this is, the, yeah. Yeah, something like that, yeah. So this karmic, this karmic is full of shit. This karmic is not a nice person. Yeah. So it's like, I just wanted y'all to imagine that because I seen a diaper. I don't know why, but I seen a diaper. <clears throat> so it made me think of a child. Um, This karmic is childish when it comes to um maturity. 
this karmic is like a baby when it comes to maturity. That's what made me think of a child. Like I and I saw a pimper. So it's like this karmic is the type of child that run around run around and just continue to use the bathroom on themselves and don't want nobody to clean it up. Yeah, something like that. And then we got denial at the bottom of the deck. Refusing to believe their true feelings and thoughts. Yeah. Yeah, this karmic know they ain't no good, but they it's like they don't even know how to change it. This karmic and it could the karmic's mother could be their enabler. The karmic's mother enables this karmic. Or this karmic's mother is a karmic just like the karmic. Yeah. It could be their mother. Yeah. So let me put some tea on this. What's going on with the karmic with um milk and honey with number 47, the bride? This karmic could also be a female. And then she wondering why she not married. She wondering why these men don't want her. This karmic probably want to get married so bad, but it's like, don't nobody want to marry her. And it's like the karmic don't know why don't nobody want to marry her. Or something like that. But no, this karmic could be a, a man. Because this person's issue with the karmic is that they're a mama's boy. Or if this karmic is a female, this karmic could have a son. And this karmic spoils her son to death. And somebody could be trying to confront the karmic about spoiling her son. This could be the karmic's baby father. And the karmic is like going to do a reverse psychology. Like don't come like something like that. If this karmic is a female, it could be her son that she's um It's like this karmic is raising if she's a female, she's raising her son to be a karmic. She's raising her son to make him feel as though you can have anything you want in life. So she's raising her son to be entitled. If somebody don't give it to you, you take it. If you want it, it's yours. That's how this karmic like raised her son. To be possessive, to be a karmic. And somebody could be confronting that karmic about the way she's raising her son. And she don't want to hear it in the karmic like I'm out. So giving money. Yeah. All right. So the karmic after dark obviously night or in the past. Um... Thought that they can buy love with money. The karmic and that didn't work. I'm also picking up the karmic could have been um, doing hella spell work. A lot of spell work over the years. Or after the hours tonight. And it haven't worked. So the karmic is trying to figure out how the hell do people do that. How can I just get a regular normal life? Because the, in the past the karmic was paying for it. The karmic been paying for it. So this is the karmic paying for love. Trying to buy people's love. Well, this is the karmic paying for spell work for like prosperity candles or whatever the karmic was doing concerning spell work and whatever. It hasn't been working. So the karmic is trying to figure out what to do. How? Because it's like the karmic don't want to do shadow work. The karmic do not want to do shadow work. So it's like the karmic will pay for spell work before they do shadow work. Yeah. And it's not working. It's not working. Or this karmic for the first time after dark hours tonight might try spell work. So this could be the karmic going to a, pra a practitioner or something and praying, I mean, and paying for like prosperity spells or potions or some candles or something. The karmic might try this for the first time after dark hours tonight. Or the karmic been trying um, spell work for years and it still hasn't been working. Yeah, but the karmic been given money. The karmic think that you can buy love and you cannot. So this is the type of karmic. They try to buy love, but you can't. You cannot. The karmic could also be trying to... I heard the karmic could be put, paying a hitman to put a hit out on somebody. The karmic wants somebody dead for their money. For prosperity. The karmic wants somebody dead for their money. Because the karmic do not like to do shadow work. The karmic is like, I kill you before I admit that I'm wrong. I kill you for your money before I go get a job. Yeah, that's this karmic. All right. What's the tea with the Knight of Wands and the Two of Pentacles? 
Yeah, it's the same shit, different day. <coughs> it's the same, same shit, different day. So the karmic is the Knight of Wands and Two of Pentacles, the same shit, different day. So the karmic always a player. The karmic always struggling financially. This karmic, it kind of looked like this karmic can have like uh, ADD or something. Like this karmic can't sit still. They be all over the place. I just heard this karmic like have side hustles. I don't think this karmic got a job. This karmic, mm-mm. This karmic can't sit still or something like that. It's the same shit, different day. Yeah. The karmic also use their lovers to support them as well. The karmic juggle lovers. The karmic be a player. That's how the karmic make their money. That's how the karmic pay their bills. If they have bills, they go in between lovers. So that's how the karmic survives, by giving money or receiving money. The karmic is dependent on other people. What's the tea with the Knight of Cups and the Two of Wands, the Two of Swords? Yeah, incarcerated, yup. Yeah, okay. So the karmic could be on the run as well. And that's another reason why somebody is confronting the karmic about some type of lie or their parenting or them being a mama's boy. And this karma like, I'm out of here. I got other problems. This karmic could be on the run. Locked up, about to be always in and out. Or somebody's confronting the karmic about their criminal history. So the Knight of Cups could be like the karmic's most recent lover. And the karmic's most recent lover, the Knight of Cups, found out that the karmic got a criminal background or something. And the Knight of Cups is confronting the karmic about being incarcerated. Because the karmic could have lied to the Knight of Cups. And the karmic, like, I'm out. I'm not talking about that. You found out, kudos to you. But I'm not, I ain't telling you the truth. Yeah, this karmic, like, I'm out of here. I ain't got to explain nothing to you. I lied to you, so what? You found out, good for you. Yeah, this karmic don't give a damn. This karmic an asshole. What's the T with um the four cups with the ten of cups in reverse? Yeah, bad habits. Yeah. Drugs, addictions, toxicities. Yeah. Somebody finding out the truth about this karmic after their hours tonight. Or somebody is confronting this karmic about um their bad habits. And the karmic is like, I'm out. Um, if the karmic is a female, somebody could be confronting the karmic about what they do in front of their son. So this could be the karmic prostitute and, and she's bringing her son with her or she got drugs in the house and the karmic son could be around or something like that. Or the karmic's baby father could be confronting the karmic and want the karmic to give the son to him because this karmic is crazy. So the, the karmic's baby father could be like, karmic, let me have the baby. Give me the boy. And the karmic like, what? You ain't getting my son. I'm out. But it's like this karmic should give that baby to the father. Because this karmic is like facing incarceration. And it's like the karmic got bad habits. And she probably be doing it in front of the, the son. Or something like that. But it's like the karmic is raising her son to be toxic like her. Yeah, because if the karmic is a female, she she spoils her son. She has a close connection to her son. Um, the karmic acts. The karmic still acts like a kid, and the karmic son do too. So the karmic son is immature like her. The karmic son is used to things being handed over to them, because that's how the karmic raised him. And the karmic son expects everybody to play mom. This is how this karmic is raising her son. Yeah, and it could be the, the karmic's baby father, like, let give give that boy to me. And this karmic, like, no. Yeah, and the karmic, <laughs> especially if this karmic is a female. Like I said, the karmic got a tinge of common sense in her. 
because the karmic is trying to it's like the karmic is daydreaming about living a normal life and this could be because the karmic has a child it's like the karmic don't really want to raise her son the way she's raising him but it's like she ain't got no choice because that's all she know it's like she wished she could have gave her son a better life but she didn't know no other way but to be a karmic so the karmic is wishing to be authentic. She wants money. She wants prosperity. And it could be because she got a son. She got a child. But it's like the karmic too prideful. She don't want to admit that she got problems. She's the problem. She don't want to admit it. She also don't want to admit that she's unfit. If this karmic is a female and she has a son... She don't want to admit that she's unfit. She don't want to admit that. Yeah. So basically, if the karmic is a female and the knight of cups is the karmic child's father, her baby father. The karmic baby father could be saying to the karmic, give me the boy. Let me raise him because you not, you know. This is not the best situation to be raising a child. The karmic view her baby father as being unhealthy and having bad luck and draining. When all the when all her baby father want to do is help and want the best for the child. But this karmic view this man as being toxic. Because this karmic could be in trouble with the law. Or this man could be saying to the karmic, you know... I know you got to turn yourself in at the end of the month. What you going to do with the baby? Let me have the baby while you go to jail. And this karmic like, I'm out. I'm out. It's like this karmic don't have no respect. This man is coming to the karmic. It could be saying to the karmic, karmic, I know you got to turn yourself in at the end of the month. What you doing with John? What you doing with the baby? He's my son. Let me have him while you go, while you got to go to jail. And this karmic won't answer him. Or something like that. <clears throat> it's like the karmic just get up and leave. I don't know if the karmic um went from bad to worse because her because her child's father broke her heart. This karmic could have went from bad to worse because the karmic's child's father could have broke her heart or something so she just went from bad to worse this karma just became a downright demon or asshole because of heartbreak or something yeah i think this karma could be a little bit heartbroken too but she just uh-uh yeah she mm -mm. this karma that still ain't no excuse for how she acting if this karma is a female all right, so what's the scoop with the Knight of Wands and the Two of Pentacles with same shit different day? Blockages, blockages and obstacles, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's the same shit different day for this karmic. Um, the karmic is experiencing blockages and obstacles. <laughs> yep. The karmic is basically getting caught. The, somebody is either confronting this karmic or the karmic is getting caught or exposed. Or somebody is trying to uh, like have a conversation with the karmic. And the karmic is also, the karmic also likes to create blockages. So it's like the karmic likes to cause havoc and leave people confused. Mm -hmm. Blockages and obstacles. That's what the karmic likes to leave behind. But I think this is also what the karmic been experiencing. Same shit, different day. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, what's the tea? Uh, no, what's the scoop with the Knight of Cups, the Two of Wands, and Incarcerated? Yeah, I think this karmic, whether this karmic a male or a female, I think this karmic could be on the run. Or this karmic got to turn themselves in soon. And somebody could be asking the karmic about when they got to turn themselves in or what's going on with their court date. And the karmic don't want to talk about it. Yeah. So what's the scoop with this? Knight of Cups, Two of Swords, and Incarcerated. Yeah, Apology. 
Yeah. Someone wants forgiveness. Yeah. Hmm. I think the karmic play mind games. Somebody is confronting this karmic. And the karmic is like going to just up and leave this person. Because the karmic is doing reverse psychology. So what this karmic want the knight of cups to do. Because this knight of cups confronted the karmic. The karmic wants this knight of cups to come back to her and apologize to her. For confronting her. That's what this is. Yeah. That's it's like reverse psychology. This is like witchcraft. This karmic crazy. This is like witchcraft. Um projecting reverse psychology. Um this is heavy spell work, like one on top of the other. I'm hearing one on top of the other. So I'm hearing this karmic doesn't do one specific type of um spell work. The karmic do several. Yeah. That's what this is. This karmic, somebody's confronting this karmic, and the karmic is trying to fix it to where this person regret it. Yeah. yeah I keep saying this karmic a demon. This karmic is very demonic. Somebody's confronting this karmic about something that's normal, adult-like, whatever this is. And the karmic is like, I'm going to fix you. I'm going to leave you. I'm going to leave you confused. I'm going to create blockages and obstacles. And then when I'm done with you, you gonna be coming back and want and um, you're gonna be asking for my forgiveness. Yeah, that's what this karmic want, cause somebody confronted that karmic, and the karmic is trying to fix it to where this person is gonna come back to the karmic and apologize. But this person didn't do nothing wrong. Um. What's the um scoop with the four cups, the ten of cups in reverse, and bad habits? Yeah, caught up. Yep, caught up. The karma's getting caught after the hours tonight. Someone's actions are catching up to them, and it's the karmic. And the karmic don't appreciate this. <clears throat> so, this is a situation where the karmic gets caught cheating. And like I said, this karmic is the one that gets caught cheating. But it's like the karmic going to fix it to where her lover come back and apologize to her for confronting her about cheating. That's the type of boldness this karmic do. Oh, this karmic thinks she all that. Yeah. This karmic is very prideful. Yeah. So someone's actions are catching up to them. Mm -hmm. That's the scoop. So the karmic got caught in some type of way or somebody's confronting the karmic. And the karmic got in the Knight of Wands energy. I'm out. You confronting me, that's toxic. You talking about you want me to explain myself, that's toxic. You don't ask me to explain myself. You don't catch me and then confront me and then expect me to admit to you that I'm wrong. That's toxic. Mm-mm. This karmic crazy as hell. And then this karmic wondering why they don't have this milk and honey. This karmic doesn't live a normal life. This karmic is not a normal person. This karmic is like... This is a karmic, a person, or this is karmic energy. How spirits and unclean spirits and demons like think and operate. This is crazy. Yeah, something like that going on. Yeah. So this karmic getting someone, convincing someone that they were wrong and that this person should should um apologize to the karmic is actually a betrayal. It's a betrayal, yeah. Yup. Yeah. yeah, this karmic is hateful. This karmic don't know what love is. This karmic is very hateful. Yeah. And like I said, somebody, this person didn't do nothing wrong. They just confronted the karmic or was asking the karmic a question or something. This person didn't do nothing wrong. But the karmic going to fix it to where they make this person feel as though they did something wrong. And that's spell work. That is spell work. That's witchcraft. And then we got rumors. Yeah. There are rumors being spread. Yep. Yeah, cleanse. Cleanse your space. 
<laughs> collective, if you the one dealing with this karmic after dark hours tonight, you probably confronted the karmic or something like that. Or collective, the Knight of Cups could be your lover or something. And he got kids by that karmic. Collective, your lover might come back and tell you when he went and tried to reason with that karmic, she just left. She wouldn't answer him or something like that. But collective, this karmic after dark hours tonight is spreading rumors about you and your lover or about you. So it's like collective, somebody confronted this karmic and what this karmic is going to do because they got confronted and exposed, this karmic just going to go off and start lying on you and spread rumors because somebody confronted her. Yeah. So collective, this card is saying cleanse your energy. Cleanse your energy because this karmic was around you or you went into this karmic's energy or collective, somebody you connected to went in this karmic's energy. So collective, when this person come back in your energy, and tell you the foolishness that this karmic did. Cleanse your energy. Because this karmic crazy. Yeah. And then we got submerged emotions. Someone's feelings run really deep. But they are concealed. I think this is this karmic. Yeah. This karmic is suffering from like. Deep heartbreak that happened a long time ago. And this karmic never did shadow work to heal. So you know this karmic definitely got entity attachments. Because she suffered um, heartbreak and she didn't do no shadow work. Yeah, so this karmic got entity attachments. Submerged emotions. Someone's feelings run really deep, but they are concealed. And that's one of the reasons why this karmic act like that. This karmic is a copycat. Someone is mimicking everything you do. But in the opposite way. This karmic mimics everything somebody does, but in the opposite way. So collective, like I said, somebody if somebody wants to make me make peace with this karmic, this karmic, like I ain't making no peace, but I'll go off and start some more trouble. So it's like this karmic is your copycat, but in the opposite way. Yeah, this karmic crazy. No, this karmic, like I can't make peace, but I can go off and start some rumors about you. <laughs> yep. Yeah, this karmic, like I ain't making no peace. You're not confronting me, but I go off and start a rumor about you, though. Something crazy like that. This karmic crazy. Yeah, this um. Let me see. Give me the give me the scoop with this number forty seven. The bride, milk and honey, and then give the money. This karmic could have also been married at one point to the Knight of Cups, and he could have divorced her. And this karmic been hateful and mean ever since. Just nasty. This karmic is. Mm -mm. Yeah, somebody could have divorced her. Collective, be careful because this karmic could be somebody's ex-wife. And she's um paying somebody money to do harm to the Knight of Cups because she wants his money or his estate or something. Yeah. So it's like the karmic is already imagining living in somebody's home, running somebody else's business, raising somebody else's kids. Um, getting all the drugs that they want. The karmic is already imagining this and it's not theirs. So collective, be careful. It's telling me the karmic is trying to give somebody money so she can get that milk and honey. Yeah, so this could be the karmic trying to hire somebody to do harm to somebody. So what's the scoop with this number 47, the bride, milk and honey and giving money? What's the scoop with this? Yeah, skeletons. Secrets are about to be revealed. Yeah. <clears throat> Collective, if this karmic is trying to hire somebody to do harm to somebody, she's going to get caught. This karmic going to get caught and might end up in jail. Collective, this karmic could have been trying to do harm to you. The authorities are aware of it, Collective. But the victim, the karmic's potential victim don't know yet. But the karmic know that the authorities is after her because she was paying for like a, a, a hit for hire or murder for hire. Somebody's after this karmic and she know it or he know it. But it's like the victim don't know or the potential victim don't know. Or this karmic gonna get caught. 
skeleton. Secrets are about to be revealed. Or collective, somebody is going to catch this karmic in the act. It's like, this is somebody catching the karmic, trying to murder, hire somebody to murder them. And they don't get the authorities involved. They just directly confront the karmic. Yeah, something like that. This this doesn't have to be something somebody... This is another scenario where somebody is aware that the karmic was trying to kill them or get them killed. This person is not going to the authorities. This person is confronting the karmic their self, themselves. And I think when the karmic ignores this person, that's when the person is going to go to the authorities. Because this karmic didn't even have like the courtesy to like say yay or nay. It's like the karmic just got up and left. The karmic just got up and left. This karmic did not answer this person. So it's like this person might go to authorities, might go to the authorities because this karmic wouldn't answer that, this person's question. But this is about to be revealed. The karmic paying for a hitman or something or the karmic um, doing like prosperity spells or something like that. Secrets about this karmic is being revealed. Yeah. That's the school. Yeah. This is about to be revealed. Yeah. Somebody might go to the authorities. Yeah. Somebody going to tell on that karmic. But I think the Knight of Cups was trying to give the karmic the benefit of the doubt because the, they could be married. They could be married. And the Knight of Cups asked the karmic, did you hire somebody to kill me? And that karmic just got up and walked out the house. She wouldn't even answer the Knight of Cups. So the Knight of Cups going to go to the police. Yeah. Because she wouldn't answer him. So the karmic's highest fulfillment being milk and honey and giving money to get this milk and honey is about to be revealed. Secret. Yeah. So something like that going on. The karmic was doing something to somebody. Either the authorities know about this... Um, Attempt to hire for murder. The authority, the authorities know they're on to the karmic and they haven't told the potential victim yet. Or the potential victim knows what the karmic was doing and they haven't told the authorities yet. Yeah, but this karmic knows that somebody knows though. That's what this karmic do know. Yeah. This karmic is aware that somebody know. Either it's the potential vic it's, it's the victim, the potential victim, the, the person who the karmic targeted. I forgot what I was about to say. Or it's the authorities. The karmic is aware that somebody knows their secrets. So it's the Knight of Cups or it's like the police or something. <laughs> but I don't know how that worked. I don't really know too much how that worked. I know I've watched st stuff like this on TV. But I don't too much know how it worked like in real life. It's like when the authorities find out that somebody was a, a target for a murder for hire. They usually tell the um, victim, the, the, the person that was targeted. They usually tell the person. But it, it depends. It depends. It depends on the situation. Yeah. Because they probably couldn't get in contact with the person who the karmic targeted. They was probably trying to get in, in contact with the person who the karmic targeted. But this karmic going to jail. This karmic going to end up in jail. Yeah. Yeah, and I said that the karmic, yeah, this could have been a murder for hire. Yep, yeah. the karmic being a leader. So the karmic might have to call this off. The karmic might have to call this off because the, the authorities is on to them. Or the karmic's potential victim is on to them. So the karmic might have to um, renege or something or call this off. Yeah. So that's what I have for the karmic going on after dark hours tonight. Um, and then at the bottom of the deck, we got phases. This phase will soon end. 
Then we got screenshots. Somebody getting screenshots and they're stressing the karmic out. Because after that, I was tonight, the karmic thinks somebody's toxic. This is the police, FBI, or this is the karmic's um, potential victim. The karmic thinks somebody's toxic and they're stressing the karmic out. Because somebody got evidence, proof, and facts. Or somebody know, or this karmic is aware that somebody is getting evidence, proof, and facts. Yeah. But this phase will soon end. And this karmic getting arrested. Yeah. Collecting evidence and doing all this, that's going to soon end. And this karmic getting arrested. Yeah. That's why the karmic is trying to create um, blockages and obstacles. Yeah. Because somebody is aware of what this karmic was doing. Mm-hmm. Someone's actions are catching up to them. Yep. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> this is Blood Queen Tarot. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and or share. And um, this is what I have for After Dark Hours tonight. And um, collective good night and thank you.